I'm Lynn Flyer, and I will be demonstrating how to make a tripod mug with soft slabs. The template is a five and a quarter by 11 inch rectangle. I also use a small triangle when I form the foot. You can choose to decorate or texture your slabs in any way that you like. Here, I'm using wood blocks to stamp a design. After stamping my design, I recompress the back gently. This helps remove any canvas marks from the area that was stamped. With the pattern facing up, I position my template and cut it out using a straight edge. First, I cut the top and the bottom straight with no angle. Then, I cut one end with an inward bevel and the opposite side with an outward bevel. This helps to create a stronger joint. I like to clean up the exposed portion of the end before joining my seam. I carefully roll the edge toward the back of the slab and then rub it lightly with my finger. Then, I score and slip the edges that will be joined. When connecting the beveled ends, I line them up with a slight overlap. If you match them up exactly, when you compress the seam, you will end up with a thin area. After attaching the seam, I smooth the interior so that the connection is not seen inside the mug. First, I blend with my fingers and finish with a soft rubber rib. I use my triangle template to make sure that the folds are evenly spaced. After positioning the template on the cylinder, lightly mark each point before bending the slab. Then I score and slip the portion of the slab that will be joined together. I begin to fold the slab inward, keeping the space in the center even. There is often a spot in the center that needs a little extra clay. So I just add a small ball of clay and blend it into the bottom. It's important to control the drawing on this project. With it upside down, I wrap the plastic around the rim and the walls and I leave the bottom of the pot exposed. When the legs are firm enough to support the pot as you work, it's time to fill in the inside seams. Start by making four small balls, about half inch in diameter, and three small coils, half inch by one inch, or enough to fill the length of each leg seam. I like to taper the balls into a cone and flatten two sides of each coil to better fit into the creases in the bottom of the pot. I compress and feather the additional clay into the body of the slab with the curved end of a wooden knife or any muddling tool that would work. Make sure everything is blended well and leave no air pockets. Afterward, I smooth the tool marks with a sponge on a stick that is slightly damp. Now the mug is ready to form the belly. I use my fingers to evenly stretch the walls until I like the amount of volume.
Then I finish with my sponge on a stick so everything is nice and smooth. When I'm happy with the shape, I add a little bevel to the rim and make sure it's still nicely rounded. I will store this wrapped in plastic for about a day until it's ready for a handle. You can use any type of handle you prefer. I'm pulling handles for mine from a tapered coil and letting them stiffen on a board before attaching them. I hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.